Alright guys, in today's video, I'm very excited to test out the Rokid Max AR glasses. I have here with me the Rokid AR Joy Pack. This consists of the Rokid Max glasses and the Rokid Android TV station device here. And I'm going to be testing this out using the Rokid station to immerse myself with all of the streaming services using Android TV. But this is actually the world's first Google certified Android TV device designed for AR glasses. Altogether, this combination retails around $499, but I do recommend you check out the link in the description below to get the latest pricing information because they do run offers from time to time, especially seasonal based offers. So you can get this at a bit of a lower price, but also check out all of the key specifications and features, which I may not get to in the link in the description. Now, not only is this going to be great to watch Android TV with, but this is also one of my favorite AR glasses that I've ever tried that works out of the box with the iPhone 15. Now, having your phone with you in your pocket all the time, all you need to do is just carry the glasses with you and you've got yourself a whole cinematic immersive experience with anything on your phone. So it basically mirrors it and you can watch all of your favorite streaming content via your phone, especially the iPhone 15, or even if you have any USB-C enabled Android device, it will work just as great. So let's go ahead and start off with showcasing the design, run through some of the key specifications. And I know it's not too simple to showcase how I see through the lens of the glasses, but I will use my phone to kind of record a video directly through the lens so you can get a feel for how it looks of what I am seeing through the lens as well. So let's just get started and hopefully you enjoy the Rokid AR Joy Pack. Okay, so let's just dive in into the unboxing. So starting off with the Rokid station, this is a very nice pocket-friendly Android TV device. You can see it has all of the main buttons you would need to navigate your Android TV. And you also have the navigation control wheel there with the menu button on the side. Then you also have a power button just there on the right hand side. You have some LED indicators for charging this up. Now this is 5,000 milliamp hour battery, so you can get up to five hours of streaming directly from this. And that is a very long period of time for such a small and compact device. Then you also have yourself the volume controls on the left hand side. Along the bottom, you have a couple of ports. On the left, you have the micro HDMI and the USB-C port that you can use to charge up this device. So right now it has this privacy cover on it, which you can easily remove just by clipping off like so. And then you have the glasses here. So let's just take a look at the design. There is a bit of a flex with the handles, so it makes it very easy to put onto no matter what shape head that you may have or what size. You also have a diopter scale here. So on the myopia, you can go from zero to minus six. On the right handle, you have yourself the volume adjustment and the power or menu button there. And you'll see at the ends of the handles, you have yourself the open air firing speakers. And we will test out the audio leak to see how it sounds and if you can still hear it clearly. I will also showcase using the other cable, USB-C on one end, iPhone 15 on the other, and then instantly I'll be able to watch anything directly from my phone on here. And that is going to be very useful for many different reasons. One of those reasons being the ability to take this with you on your travels. So if like myself, you commute to work on the train and it is quite a long journey, then you don't want people to be always looking at what you're watching on your phone. This is where this comes in with a little bit more of a privacy factor. So all you need to do is just put this on I don't need to power this on in any way. All I have to do is unlock my phone. And now, although you can't see, I'm actually mirroring exactly what I'm seeing here directly in my glasses right now. So it's drawing the power from my phone into the Rokid Max. This looks really cool. So no one else around me can actually see what I'm watching. So I want to showcase how this looks to you. So I'm going to use my phone to record what I see through the lens. But if you're just using this around the house at home, then you can just put on the privacy glasses if you just want that full immersive experience as if you're in the cinema. And one thing I do like about this is that this is only 75 grams. So if you are going to get any type of cinematic headset, AR glasses or anything like that, weight is very important, especially for me. And I know it's important for a lot of users that are watching this video. Not just that, this is actually 1080p full HD and it goes up to a maximum of 120 hertz. In terms of the projection size, 
at maximum resolution this can actually simulate a projection of up to 360 inches so let's go ahead and see how this looks through the lens through my eyes there you go you can see it's showing my home screen if I just move my phone it's very responsive so let's just open up YouTube and then I will play a video back And let's see how it looks with the privacy cover on the lens. It looks so much better because it is darker behind the actual video. Now this is a very cool way to use with your iPhone 15, but let's just go ahead and show it with the Rokid station. there you go you can see android tv and you're all familiar with this you can actually stream all of your favorite apps directly from here so let's go ahead and just quickly play back content from here i'll go into youtube and let's just play something from there There you go. It does look great when you are using this in person. So if I go ahead and press the circle button on the bottom right of the Rokit station, you can see this brings up more settings. You'll be able to check the battery percentage from here, but mine is charging at the same time. If I go ahead into display, and then I can go into screen position, and right now it's at 80%, but I can actually zoom in. And if I keep doing that, you can see the percentage going up and the projection screen size is getting larger and all the way to 100% this will give you the 360 inch very large screen but if you find it easier to see everything with a smaller screen then you can go down to a maximum of 80% okay so one of the final tests I want to provide is the audio leaks as I mentioned earlier in the video so let's go ahead and play back one of the videos from the Rokid YouTube channel and I've got my shotgun microphone just here, so it is very sensitive and you will be able to hear the audio. So I'm gonna mention the volume levels that I have playing on this and I will reduce it and I will try and turn this onto privacy mode so you can see how much the audio leak reduces. So let's go ahead and try that now. Just going to load a video. Okay, I'm going to play back now. And I'll put the volume this is the max volume. For me, I can hear everything very clearly and it might be quite light for you as well. You might not be able to hear everything. When I've asked people next to me on around 75 to 50% volume, they actually can't hear much of what I'm hearing. And that's actually quite important if you are going to have open ear speakers on glasses like this. Now, one thing I do like is if I go ahead and reduce this to 50% now, so that is at 50%, you will not be able to hear anything. And if I'm using this outdoors, whether I'm on a train or I'm on a plane, for example, I can be confident knowing that people around me won't be able to hear because of the ambient background noises from the environment. This won't be loud enough for them to actually hear anything that I'm listening to but enough for me to actually still enjoy my content. And that is very important when you do have open air speakers on devices like this. So all in all, what else can I say? This is you know, one of my favorite AR glasses that I'm going to be using for a very long time. So I do recommend you go ahead and take a look at the link in the description to purchase this. Take a look at the latest pricing information and any discounts because this is very affordable. 
And for me, just having this plug and play setup, there's not really any faults that I can mention with this and I'm super happy with this purchase and I'm pretty sure that you will be too. If you did like this review, make sure to like this video. And as always, if you have any other comments about the Rokid Max or the Rokid Station, just drop them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Make sure to subscribe. I have really cool gadget reviews coming out every week with cool tech like this. And I will catch you all at the next one. Take care.